are going to be showing you how to use the app iNaturalist and how to make observations that will contribute to the larger community at North Campus Open Space. Before we get started, you might be wondering, what is iNaturalist? iNaturalist is an app anyone can have on their phone that helps identify plants and animals in nature, in any corner of the world, or even in your own backyard. iNaturalist is a social network where community scientists, naturalists, researchers, and biologists can come together to record the world's biodiversity, that is, the variety of life that can be found on Earth. The platform has 4 million users who have contributed to its 68.3 million individual observations and 335,242 species observations. These community scientists have contributed a lot to scientific research and conservation efforts, with some major recordings occurring here in Santa Barbara. In 2019, a large sunfish, originally thought to be a species normally found in the Santa Barbara Channel, was spotted on the beaches of Isla Vista, and after its posting to iNaturalist, fish scientists across the world came together to identify it. The fish was identified as Molotecta, a species not found in the Northern Hemisphere, and its identification became the first addition to genus Mola in 125 years. That's the classification of similar, closely related organisms. We're not sure why the fish was found so far from its home, but because of iNaturalist, scientists across the seas were able to come together and identify this rare sunfish. Now you might be wondering, who uses iNaturalist? What is so special about iNaturalist is that anyone can use it. Whether you are a researcher or just a curious nature lover, any observation made on the app is equally valuable. At North Campus Open Space, or NCOS, iNaturalist is used for research on pollinators like bees, wasps, and ants. You might know that NCOS is a restoration site, which means the land is being returned to its historic state. These pollinators are super important to the ecosystem because they help plants to reproduce and spread. So, now that you know a little more about the app and how it's used, let's get out and make some observations! When we first open iNaturalist, we'll see several icons at the bottom. Start by tapping on the camera icon, labeled Observe. You can either take a photo of the plant or animal with the app, or you can upload a photo you have previously taken. When taking photos, make sure to capture several angles as well as close-up and zoomed out images. This will help us identify the organism more accurately. You can even make observations without the app by uploading photos to the iNaturalist website from your computer. Here's some more advice on how to take great photos. If you're taking photos of a plant, try to get different parts of the plant, like the leaves, the stem, flowers, buds, or fruits. If you're taking photos of an insect, try to get a close-up photo where you can see the different body parts, like wings, legs, eyes, and antennae. Also look at the general shape of the insect and any colors or patterns on its body. Don't worry if your photo doesn't have everything. Any photo you take is a good starting point to identifying your organism. If you think you see a good match in the suggested species, you can choose it and other people might come along and confirm that identification for you. If you aren't sure, you can just choose what general group your creature belongs to, animal, plant, or insect, and that's a great start. The app will give you suggestions. The top suggestion is the first one, but you can also choose a less specific suggestion if you're not sure that's a match. You can click on the suggestions to see if they look like your plants or animal. Pay attention to the details to see if they're different. Are the colors and patterns similar? The feather patterns or fur patterns? The leaf shapes and edges? When and where you saw your creature can also help you find out what it is and give other people and scientists an idea of what that ecosystem looks like. By using iNaturalist and finding creatures in the wild, you are helping solve a big puzzle. What creatures live in that space? How do they interact with each other? Are there rare or endangered species migrating through or making a comeback? You might even find new types of animals and plants. And stacking up identifications feels a bit like catching Pokemon in Pokemon Go. So, happy collecting!